the AFU once again attempted to launch a combined strike with missiles, unmanned motorboats, and UAVs against Russian facilities in Crimea. The attack was foiled by joint forces of the Black Sea Fleet, the Russian Air Force, and Air Defense. At the same time as the attack on Crimea, Ukrainian HIMARS MLR systems struck Askania Nova and Chaplinka. Damage to infrastructure and casualties were avoided. The attack took place immediately after the Ukrainian drone strike. On Sunday night, the AFU drones once again attempted to attack Moscow. The dronies were intercepted by air defense systems on approach in the Noginsky district of Moscow region. Russian troops were also actively targeting rear military facilities of the AFU. In Odessa region, an oil depot in the village of Vihoda was hit, resulting in a partial loss of power supply in the region. Over the past few days, the enemy has significantly increased the intensity of attacks on Belgorod region. In addition to UAV raids and shelling of border villages, the AFU launched a Toshka-U missile strike on Rovenki, damaging houses in the residential sector. There is a relative calm on most parts of the front. In the Kupyansk sector, Russian troops are consolidating the positions taken during the local offensive near Timkivka. On the southern flank of Bakhmut, Russian troops have extended their zone of control on the northern outskirts of Klishchivka. Fierce fighting continues on the approaches to the tactical heights to the village. On the northern flank of the Avdivka sector, fighting is taking place near Stepov and on the approaches to the coke plant. Despite the localized advance of the Russian soldiers, it is still early to talk about an assault on the plant. On the southern flank, Russian soldiers managed to break through the AFU defenses in the industrial zone near the Yasinuvada 2 station. Nevertheless, clashes continue in this area. The enemy is trying to hold its positions. On the Orykiv sector, the AFU continue to unsuccessfully attack the Russian defensive lines in order to wear down the Russian armed forces units. In recent days, several enemy advances have been repulsed in the direction of Verbov and Robotyne. There is a lull on the South Donetsk sector, which the Russian armed forces took advantage of to start testing weapons that had not been used before. On Sunday, the Russian armed forces dropped RBK-500 cluster bombs on enemy positions near Staromayorsky. Ukrainian units are still holding the bridgehead in Krinky that they had previously occupied. They have partially succeeded in extending their zone of control to the west, but further movement has been prevented by Russian forces.